Hello Lego fans, it is Lego Man 7 here with another mock. This is like my military ship, and I am using stormtroopers because I don't have military people. So here it is. So it is three stories high. By there's six studs in each thing, and then you add on the plates. It's like I think it was like 22 studs high, and then if you add on the base, 26. So it's relatively tall, and I'd say it turned out pretty well. So let's get right into it. Starting from the front, you just have these missiles here that I can rotate and go up and down just for some defense. You just have this area here. And then just some railings so you don't fall off. An officer walking with a trooper to go up the stairs, which bring you to the next level. And there are crates under the stairs. Then a door right there. As you go up the stairs, there's a machine gunner. These little like quarter circle pieces just for a little defense and also for looks then you have a grappling like gun right here which you can just untwist and shoot it out and, and attach like another ship and like zip line down and take it over or just look at it then you have a door right here and then a ladder which goes up to the command deck and then a trooper guarding it. So this trooper goes all over, but like the reason I have a ladder to go to the command deck is so you can flip it up for defense. Like, because that is a control center, so you don't want that getting taken over. Yeah. Then moving up, you have a little area, and then that goes to your command center. Radar and just dishes for communication, which you can move. A little bit of lighting. Then an antenna. Then up here, this could also be like a little landing deck. Not for like landing all the time, but like if you need to just land for a little bit, land there. Then curved walls, windows, with two like businessmen, or like high ranking military officials, like generals or something. Then. There's a door right here that goes to this ladder right here. And that's for another like maybe escape route or something. And that can also flip up. Then there's this guy right here, personal bodyguard for them. And then just some lighting up here. And then there's just more windows and stuff. And then as we go up here, there's just, you know, some supplies and crates just stacked up. A door. To out here, and then just two piles right here talking. Which, yeah. And they would be flying these helicopters. And then I added these on, this on, just for, like to carry cargo or troopers. So you could, like, transport soldiers and then just, you know, fly away to the battleground, drop them off, and come back. So, yeah, it's a simple helicopter on this landing platform. So we take them off. Yes, there's the landing platform. Now, um, you might be wondering why there's that two piece right there, and that is, I mean, like right here, sorry, one handed. <laughs> it's so this plane can come in. And, like, all oh, planes can't land like that, but this one has the, it's like an osprey where the wing, the propellers can go up like a helicopter. And that just holds it in place right there. So you see that. Um, yeah. So if we take off the first layer, we can see inside our two guys with swivel chairs just talking. You have your like boat commander. And then you're just standing at the window looking out. And then you have a driver right here driving the boat. 
And then over here you have two guys working on some computers. Doing like the radar and the communications and stuff. Then you have the personal bodyguard. Then right here, if I tell you guys, this is just a little detail playing. Um, and then, if we take this layer off. And I wanted to make every section like modular. So like, every, as you can see, this is not connected. So this comes off, and this comes off. Separate. I don't know. And then as you come in, you have this black mat, like matting, for like where you, a gym, like you can punch this, like a punching bag, kind of like that stays up. Then right here is actually the punching bag on a thing that you can move it and like punch it. And you can move it around to like wherever you want it. Then you have a bench press, a little arm weight, and then a pull-up bar. And then if we go to the other side, there's just a little bit of storage, like crate, a stretcher for a hurt guy, and then a doctor who's just standing there getting some stuff ready in his cabinets. So yeah, there it is. And then the helipad, of course, wouldn't be right here. So if we take this... Ugh. I don't know, I'm going to do this here. I'll set this down for a second. Just comes right off. And then... You have access to the first floor. So as you come in, you have these guys that are spec ops just waiting for a mission. You have a soldier guarding this jail cell, which has a agent in it. She got captured. See? She got captured. That's not good. For her. And then there's just a bed, and that's about it. Then over on this side is where all the magic happens. This guy keeps the crew fed. So he has a sink. Huge counter space with cabinets underneath it. And he's just ready to cook. Then you just have a stove and oven. And a fridge and freezer on top of each other. And then a garbage can. So that's that. And then, under the helipad, there's these chains. Huh. They are for something. If you just reach over each other. But then under that, you can see we have these huge doors. So, boom. They just pop open. And you have a huge, like, um... Arsenal vehicles, a truck, a boat, two dirt bikes, and stuff. You might point out how to get them up there. So you can just detach these. And then, like, let's say you had a vehicle, you put it under the chains, and then it would, like, pick it up, and you can actually move it along. So it slides it into the, the hangar. So we exit off. We can get into it. So here's a boat. Like I said, here's the pilot. Now we'll be piloting it. The two dirt bikes, and then a truck. Oh, and then you take the truck, and oh, there's a guy working on it. So underneath it. But yeah, there's the boat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Lego Man Seven. And here's just another view of the doors. And if you didn't know this already, there are these big turbines to give them more speed and maneuverability. Yep, there it is. Thank you guys for watching.